Hi, and welcome to Toy Break, episode 106. I'm George. I'm Aileen. And this is Toy Break. Which is your weekly internet show all about toys. Designer vinyl, plush action figures, collectibles, how-tos, interviews, and much, much more in the world of toys. Like I said. But if you're watching this, you already know that. They don't... Maybe somebody new is watching. Are you new? Are you watching? Email us. <laughs> Info at toybreak.com. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors like Panic's Toy Box, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, Big Bad Toy Store, Tenacious Toys, Happy Panda Toys, Pink Skater, Mini Cassette Tees, and 3D Retro. Woohoo! Thanks to all of our sponsors. And if you want to get in on the action, of course you can sponsor the show regularly, just regular sponsors. Or you can also go to toybreak.com slash breakers. And for every $10 donation, you get a little square that you can put whatever image you want in to advertise your blog, your... It's a link. You're not just buying a little square. business, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's a link. Do it. It's cool. It's rad. Do it, yo. Pink Skater Contest? Pink Skater Contest. Win a brand new skate deck featuring artwork by Brian Cummings, courtesy of PinkSkater.com, by posting your own skateboard design in the forum. You can find templates and inspiration at BoardPusher.com, which is a really cool skateboard place. It is. And the deadline is coming right up, February 3rd, so get those things in. Indeed. Um, we have a call. Let's hear it. Okay. I like calls. Are you ready? I like calls that we could play. Are you ready for the magic? All the other calls, they're good too. Um, why don't you just make a selfie video of something? Uh, I just have to be collecting the Justice League action figures. There's only five I only got. And I got his Superman, Hawkgirl, Batman, Flash, and Green Lantern. And to our left is Martian Manhunter and Wonder Woman. So, I'm going to collect them all. Seven. So, get this message. Okay. Bye-bye. Does that caller think we have a video phone? Well, first of all, I'm really excited that he found out how to go back in time to use 1985 payphone technology to call us. Wow, we are so mean. <laughs> Why would anybody get I call? Anything. Why do people call us? Why do they even bother? I don't if know, we're just gonna, if we're gonna bag But up. I don't know what he was saying. He was, I'm really oh, excited. Sorry, no. If you're watching, whoever called, I, I didn't hear a name in there, but I'm really excited that you're going to collect all of the DC Universe I think he knew he was calling Toy Break. I think he's collecting toys. DC Universe. And I think that there were some to the left of some other ones. <laughs> there was a Niner and a Seven, and I, think I think. he said that this was a video, but I think that he <laughs> this was... This is a video. I think yes. his phone call was not a video. I don't know what he's talking about. But it was awesome. Thanks for but calling. But if you do put a video up on YouTube or something, send us a link and we'll watch it. And then yes. we'll know what you're talking about. Which we have videos for later. We do. Let's get on to something that we uh, want to clear up. Monica, In the news? that we reviewed, is this part of the news or is this just a little clear up from the last time? Okay, it can be a clear up. The, the Monica from uh, the review we did from the Patch Together episode, yes, patch together. that is from Wopsy Square by Paul Taylor. It is a webcomic at wopsysquare.com. Yes. So thank, thank you, you to, to everybody, everybody who wrote everybody, in yeah. to let us know. Because now I'm going to need to start doing research before I say anything because or else everyone calls me out on it. So and a lot, of, a lot of people said, you know, the skin tone was reflective of her, I believe it was Latina heritage. Yes. And that's pretty obvious in the toy, but it was, it was a weird orange. Color. Yeah. It was Oompa Loompa orange. And it there was were, not and Some of the emails Hispanic. even said was, they were Latina like... Latina or... Yeah. Yeah. Some of it the email, was orange. Some of the emails even said they agreed Sorry. that it was not quite the color that it was supposed to be, but they still liked it. But there was a yes. lot of love for that. It's still a cool figure. A lot of love for that webcomic, Wopsy Square. Everybody so check go it check out. it out. Now the news? Now in the news. Boop, 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 boop. News. First up, Serial Geek. It's a magazine we've talked about since its number one issue. We have. And um, issues two and three are currently in the January issue of Previews Magazine. It's actually page 318. Specifically. So if you go to your local comic book store where you already order comic books, grab yourself a Previews and order issues two and three. And I believe you can now get issue one from a website in the UK. Hmm. But go check out um, Serial Geek online. You can go to they have a Facebook fan page and it has a bunch of links where you can get everything and support this magazine because I want them to keep going. But it's cool that they're in previews because it gives them a wider audience. As long as this wide audience Buys goes it. and gets it. 
Yes. Because it's a rad magazine, all about '80s cartoons, and it's got a, a lot of really good cool like, art. Yeah, a lot of Just great really art cool in there. Art. So go support it. Also, delicious drips tutorials with Lily Black. Oh, and no ads. We we already moved on. I know. You can tell them though. Serial Geek has no ads. No ads. Just like Cooks Illustrated. Keep going. Another good magazine with no ads. Keep going. <laughs> You were in the middle. <laughs> Delicious Drips tutorials with Lily Black. Uh, they currently have dry brushing and color wash tutorials up for your viewing pleasure. You can visit deliciousdrips.com, then just go to links and then tutorials, and you will find the videos there. And I thought they were pretty cool. Or you can go to our forum, and I put them up, uh, put links up there as well. Toy Break, click forum. I just thought that was worth a mention because people often have questions about customizing toys. We and get a lot and this of questions that. about that. And while we're trying to put together some stuff on that, you know, there's a lot of great content out there. And thanks to Delicious Drips and thanks to Lily for putting that together. Awesome. It is awesome. Elemental Key Series. Elemental. Elemental P.O. Elemental. By Toy 2R. This first series of two and a half inch keys based on natural resources is based on stone and wood representing your key guardians and protectors. Watch toy2rusa.com. Nice. More keys. Got a lot of them. Although coming soon, artist keys are coming back. Hopefully. Very cool. Looking forward to seeing some artist keys again. But you, you don't want any more Simpsons? I don't mind Simpsons keys. One or two. I like Simpsons keys. Uh, instead of a whole series of one. But not all Bart's. Yeah. All How about Bart's. like all the different characters that they have? I like the element. I like the look of these. Yeah, they look cool. I like, in I like most keys, as you can tell by this wall back here yeah. in the studio. Squish the keys. Blind box time? Let's do it. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! So today's blind box was actually sent in. Speaking of Pink Skater and Brian Cummings. Floating question marks. I'm taking this one because it says my name on it. Hey, this one says my name. That worked out Perfect. well. Perfect. So this was sent in by uh, Brian Cummings and Pink Skater. Yes. So let's check it out. I love that he put the big question mark, so it's blind box. Because we don't know. We don't know what's in here. We really haven't opened these. I'm very excited. Oh. I got some peanuts. I got peanuts too. Do you think they're edible? I hope not. Why not? I'm not eating. Ah. Oh my god. Put it down. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. That is awesome. This little losses. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, I love him. <laughs> He's got a little Boba Fett outfit on. Brian made us out of money. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. That's so cute. Here, let's have them do the rest of the show. We'll just put them on the couch. Blah, blah, blah. Yakety schmackety stupid stuff. Toys. <laughs> you forgot toys. Oh yeah, toys. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you he so much, Brian. He's got like, little Boba Fett pajamas on. <laughs> Why don't you have the? Those could be Ninja Turtle, I think. It's Boba Fett. Look at the out. Look at the chest. Oh, it is Boba Fett. I think it's a Boba Fett turtle. And the yellow. Turtle Fett. It's Turtle Fett. Oh my God, that's awesome. Look at the hair. This is so cool. Oh my God, I'm so flattered that you made little us's. Thank you so much, Brian. And how cool is that? Look, creativity with money. This is what it's all about, right here. It is. I love it. I have the little like built-up stuff too. Look at how cute I am. I'm like, hey. You didn't sign them. You didn't sign them on oh. the piece. Did you sign the box? No. Good, that way we could throw the box oh. out. Awesome, now we can sell them. I'm just kidding. I would never sell these. That's rad. <laughs> these are so cool. All Thank right. you so little much. Little me is going to sit up here. I want little me to sit somewhere. <laughs> I don't want to be left out. I need to get a little hat for little me. Is my forehead that big? I have a big forehead, huh? It's not, no, it's not quite that no? big. I think he took some creative liberty. Oh, okay. I'll go with it. It works with the ears. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Awesome. Did you see that? <laughs> Fantastic. Now I need to grow my beard back. I know. Sorry. What are you doing? It's on the money. It's on the money. Got to do it. Well, let's get into reviews because we have a ton of awesome reviews. Let's do it. Reviews. Reviews. <laughs> uh, okay, up first. Feos. 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 It's Feos. I know. <laughs> this is by Onel Design and Real Head. These are sold out, so Sorry. tough luck. They were $30 plus shipping, 
And uh, watch the blog at onelldesign.com for more Real Head releases coming soon. Very soon, like February. That's very soon indeed. Mm -hmm. But this was the uh, the first one released, or actually the first U.S. release. There was one already came out in Japan. Um, But this is the little dude. Check him out. Awesome. He is half Real Head on this side and half Faden on this side. So he's the Faos version. Hmm. And uh, these what, are. Is he about three and a half inches? Ah, uh, sure. Three inches. Where's the little pl- 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 thing? Pl- 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 over there, where it always is. Uh, right, right there. It's some amount of inches. It. Right by Totoro. <laughs> Let's check. Oh wait, I like the noise. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that! Three and a half inches. See, you already knew. Awesome. He's articulated the head and arms. And pretty rad so now this was a very small run yeah i don't know these, if correct? we know the number or not but this is what it was a small we know run. it was a small run so hopefully the future runs of the real head and onel stuff will be a little bit larger and give more people a chance to grab them uh but it's very important to be on top of the onel blog if you like the stuff that they produce yes because because that's the only way you're gonna know that when stuff comes, comes out. out comes and goes really quick and you gotta you gotta grab it so what do we this think this one's of? cool he's got like the little glass eye or I plastic do like glass the eye I do like that and uh, it's got that real nice Japanese vinyl feel mm-hmm. and the cool little you know I'm guessing this is the real head stamp on one leg and then the O'Neill mm-hmm. design stamp on the other so it's very cool <laughs> with the copyright it says Connell Connell <laughs> Connell design. I really like this piece, but it's hard for me to count it as part of the Glios world because it's not. I think it it's got the official like, header. No, it does. Of a Glios it absolutely figure. does. But it's like it's not, you know, everything looks so uniform. Yes. In the Glio, you know, with fade. It definitely does and, not match the same sculpting. Right. Of the I other mean, one. But it's a vinyl but it's version. Cool. No, 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 absolutely. It's like in addition to. I love that it you know has the I mean? right fade and color, the fade and blue. I really like the red and the like gold little accents on here. On the real head side. I kind of like the real head side even better than the fade inside. Burned. Oh. <sighs> Just on this particular piece. Gosh, man. I like him. I like his little tentacle instead of hand. It's red. It's a good piece. And 30 bucks, what do you think? It's Japanese vinyl. It's just it's a little bit more expensive, but it's cool. It's worth it. And Do you think that's expensive for that piece? Um, realistically, probably not. But it is for the size of thing. Like, oh, I didn't think that that was bad. Shouldn't small things cost less? But there's so little well, of look them. Look at how like, look at the paint. Look at the. I mean, it's custom. It's cool. I like it. Awesome. Let's move on to another review. I think the price was fine. How about Adora and Battle Armor He-Man? Because we can't get enough from Maddie Collector. All right. And by get enough, I mean of them raping us for more figures. Which one do you want to do first? Oh, whatever. Battle oh, Armor He-Man. Battle Armor He-Man first of all, is. these are now coming again still in these white boxes, white outer boxes. And um, now they have, they used to just be a blank box. Then it was the blank box with like a couple little things on it. Now it's got the name of, on the front. Um, I'm still throwing these away because I don't Nobody care. Cares. I think there are people that save those things. Well, most people are dumb. Burned. Battle Armor He-Man. Yet another He-Man. Y A H. Yet another He-Man. So, hmm. here you go. Yeah. Well, I don't want to spend a lot of time on him. He's just He-Man with some extra pieces. I mean, the cool thing is like. Can you technically get these pieces with Goddess? <laughs> Not the body. Yeah, but well, because he's battle damage, isn't he? So the old figure, the old battle damage one, had a roll cage in it that when you tapped it would change the battle damage. Yes. But this time they didn't do that. They just have the extra pieces that you pop in and out, I'm guessing, through the back. I don't really know yet. Let's find out. I haven't opened it. But, uh, yeah, let's see. I'll open a door while you do that. Oh, oh. Yeah, it looks like you just pop it out the back. Easy. And pop in the new piece. 
I don't really like the idea of the pop out stuff instead of like just what's wrong with doing the mechanics they did it in the old days I'm paying 20 bucks a figure you I can't know. give me the roll thing um, so I say bleh on this and that's my <laughs> official word bleh. cause man just do it just go for the go for the roll piece what do you think about the princess of power sticker why not change the the whole front give me a new does that cost more money how much more to I've... put a new little printed piece in one package? Come on. These figures would then cost $65 a piece. So, I don't know. I, I don't like... We're paying, we're paying premium prices for premium figures, and we're getting the shaft. I didn't cut the... It's okay, I'll get them out. By the way, did we mention that these are by Mattel and the Four Horsemen? Uh, probably not, but they should that should be noted. Duly noted, sir. Oh, you little rubber bands of doom. Okay, you're in charge of the sword. So. Ta-da! Adora. Awesome. You might notice that she has a gun. And it's made to fit in her left hand. I know these things. I know. And it does fit very well in her left hand. The right hand, it's a little bit loose, so don't, don't put it in there. Put the sword in there. There you go. See, now she's equipped for fighting long range and close range. Sword and... no. Uh, this is cool. I saw a lot of debate online of people saying, you know, this is the first Adora, and then other people saying, no, there was a she that you could take the clothes and dress her up back into Adora. Right, but this is like Adora, like it comes as Adora. Like there's no she involved in this. Right. It's just Adora. Shh. So some people are Why saying. Why would there be Shira? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. Me neither. I don't have any why idea. would it, Adora and Shira? Why are they related? No. So there you go. What do you think? Do you like the figure? Do you like Adora? You're more of a Shira person than I was. <laughs> I'm more of a Shira person. Um, I like her. I feel like there could have been a little bit of extra, not detail, but like something going on on the. Isn't that what she looks tunic? like? Yeah, I know, but I feel like a fold or a crease, and probably not just due to production or whatnot. But. It's cartoon style. No, I know. I generally like the figure a lot. I love the boots. Like, cause see how the boots have, like, a little indent, like they're being worn? It's nice. Anyway, um, I like the accessories. The hair is good. I like the face a lot. I really like, yeah, I like, I like what they did with the head. Awesome. Clean paint. Good figure. Nice boots. Also... Uh, here's a little question for you fans out there. Where have you seen this gun before? We should offer a prize for somebody who knows. Do you think? What do you want to give them? I don't know, just a prize. That's it. Okay, we'll figure out that. the prize. But if you know where this gun has been, let's even say in He-Man lore, obviously. Like where it came from. Where not it came where it's been. from. Where, what was the inspiration for this gun? And the answer will be on an upcoming episode of Toy Break. You should uh, post it in the forum. Post it in the forum or email us? No, email it to us. Email it to us. Email us where you have seen this gun in He-Man lore at info at toybreak.com, and we will uh, let you know in the next episode. But yeah, 20 bucks each, yada yada. What do you think of the new hair on this one? It looks like new hair, right? He looks like he's constipated. I kind of like the head. I like the He-Man. I just don't like the... I don't like that they cheesed out on the roll thing. There's a little extra white paint on his lip. Is he frothing? Does he have rabies? Yeah. Hey, at least he's not broken. The sculpting is awesome, and then the, they always get something on the paint. No, he's not broken, so that's good. But you know what else is worth mentioning? What? February. The figures coming up for February 15th are Trapjaw, Battle Cat, and Man-at-Arms. So if you missed Man-at-Arms, you can grab him again. The regular Club Eternia members will be receiving Trapjaw, and Wondar will be also coming in February, and Battle Cat will be like the extra bonus figure, and Battle Cat will actually not be $20, he will be $30. Boo to that. I'm going to buy we, him, you, boo. Shall we rant a little bit about Let's rant for a minute. Um, so they offered this Club Eternia package because there was so much traffic on the site last year when these figures first started that they were having trouble... Remembered. They're having Oof. trouble fulfilling everything at once. So in order to cut down on traffic on the site, they said, hey, let's offer some people the opportunity to just buy the full year of stuff, 
a sign up for it now saying you're going to buy it all and then you don't have to come on each month and it eliminates a little bit of traffic and a lot of us went yes and we were thank all like you. sweet let's do that so we'll get our you know we'll get our subscription they offered a bonus figure one dar that you get only if you join the subscription great sign us up sounds awesome now we don't have to wait every 15th we don't have to go to the site oh wait a minute now they release an extra figure every month on the 15th to bring us all back to the site and create all the traffic again and make us pay double for shipping. And make us pay double for shipping. Hey, Mattel. What the hell? How about you offer the Club Eternia people? Just say, ship it with my Eternia, Club Eternia. Yes. Ship it with this so I'm not paying double shipping and makes my figures twice as much money now. I know they're still working out kinks with their distribution center and their online stuff, but come on, this system is ridiculous. If I ordered the year subscription, it's probably because I want all of the figures. <laughs> so just ship me and bill me for all of the figures. Right. Stop making me pay double. Mattel, what More the than double because of the shipping. What the F, Mattel? Get it right. So mad at Mattel. He man. <laughs> also, the Castle Grayskull diorama stands will be available in February, so be sure to... Check into the site. Let's all get on and wait. Which I think is a good idea because room. if you look at our shelf, I don't have the waiting room anymore. It's kind of a pile. Well, they yeah. They once one falls over yeah. and they hit the other ones. And we then gotta stand them all up again. It's big good. pile. Let's have another review. All right, let's do it. Let's move on. How about a quickie? How about a quickie? Who doesn't love a good quickie? Who, who doesn't love superstars? Are you ready to rock? Series one. Ice tea. Yeah. This is from superstarstoys.com. Check out the full collection. So series one, these are non-articulated three and a half to five inch figures. They come with a guitar pick. They're supposed to come with a guitar pick and access to some sort of online content. I think it might be in the front or maybe that came in series two. Not really sure. What's in there? Is it in there? Is it in there? No guitar pick. Okay, so maybe that's serious. But he doesn't two. have a guitar, so why would he have a guitar pick? I don't know. I just know what I read on their site. So Series 1, uh, Superstar Series 1 includes Ice-T slash and Alice Cooper. And Series 2 includes Run, DMC, and Jam Master J. You can check them all out at superstars-toys.com. And don't forget there's a collectible box set oh, yeah. for each one. The Series 1 box set is Kiss, which features all of the band with their instruments Except for the drummer, who only comes with drumsticks and a stool. So he can't drum on anything, which is pretty funny. F. Because what, a, like, the guy comes with a guitar, a bass, right. a microphone, and here's your drumsticks with no drum set. So good luck. And then there's the HCDC box set in Series 2. And it looks like Series 3, if, they, if anyone's buying these and they still continue, there's going to be Motley Crue Black Eyed Peas and the Black okay. Eyed Peas coming soon. So let's see ice tea real quick. So let's check and them out. And how much is this? Like five bucks? Uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too much. They were at like Toys R Us and I think Walmart. No rubber bands. Thumbs up on that. It's just a straight up little like gangster Statue. gangster dude, like little gangster PVC. It's I love him. Kind of He's funny. awesome. The paint job's horrible. The sculpting is whatever for like a tiny little thing. The face is kind of. The face is a little mushed. mushed. What's wrong with your face? But like, and he's eating a microphone. It's. I mean, it's, <laughs> it looks like him. It looks like iced tea. It's funny. It's iced tea. It's funny. Back before he was like a TV It's worth star. it if you can find him for like five bucks or less. Oh, he doesn't stand though. Oh, he just a little bit. He seems like he needs to be bent back into place or something. Yeah. I think it's funny. I say. I say funny. You can cool. rock out with him, man. What's up next? Look at him. He's like his little. Hey there, little iced tea. What's going on? Um, let's see. What is next? Dick satisfaction. Excuse me. That's right. I said it. Uh, <laughs> I don't make these things up. How can I? I'm blushing. <laughs> so this is from uh, hockey, Hawk, hockey, 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 hockey sheer, hockey sheer, uh, from sheer imagination. From, this is from a Germany, I believe. Six-inch resin figure. And I'm not joking. It was. It's labeled Dick Satisfaction. Wait, I, I, I've opened this to check it, make sure it wasn't broken in transit. Let's just see. But let's, see let's it. just wait till you check this out because I want. I'm excited. See, I haven't seen this yet. I want to know how you feel about this. Does the name make sense? Uh, I don't know. 
So he come. It's a it's a resin piece, a solid resin collectible. Like a resin non action figure. Non action figure. Ooh, heavy. Heavy. Whoa. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Comes with a pipe for his for his little mouth there. A pipe. A little, okay, that's gonna help. You got a little pipe hole. That's gonna help. This is nice quality. First of all. Yeah, feels good. No, like really nice. Like I just looked at He Man, you know, mass market. And now I look at resin piece, and it's like, oh, that's nice. So not that he man's bad. What do you think? Um, well, he's got grenades coming out of his nipples. More like his nipple attached. rings are attached to his his nipples. He has nipple rings for the for the grenade. Well, because then, pin. yeah. And I I think he's ripped. I believe he's stretching his nipple out. Is that what's happening with a grenade pin? I can't get behind the nipple stretching. I don't think. Ah, uh, it's a bit disturbing. It looks painful. It's a. It's. I, I gotta... like the pipe. I like the face. The paint is very clean. The shorts are funny. The gotta... general look is good. What do you got? Uh... Words. <sighs> I'm pretty sure he pulled this guy's head out. What? <laughs> what? This There's is a like, whole story about this guy being a werewolf and like tracking down bounty, or he was by night he hunts evil or something. I, ooh, I can't remember the specific. He's a very. There's a whole story you should check out on sheer dot sheer dash imagination dot com. He's a very sophisticated nipple puller, is what I'm saying. I think the sculpting is amazing. The sculpting is great. Not it's not amazing. Sculpting is great. It's very good. Yes. Um, the face I looks like really it. cool. I lo I love the style. Of like the head, I don't know. There's something about it. He's got that. It's human, but it's it's animal. It's got a really good yeah. like mix of like the sculpting is done really well. I really like the, the sculpting head. on this 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 like head neck thing spine thing. I don't is, really know what this is. It's very. It looks spongy. It's gross. It's, it's gross. This is really really gross. This would be rad if it had like an actual little sculpted spine or something. Is like it, that'd be kind of cool. What I don't. Maybe it's, it's disgusting. A Maybe it's a club. Maybe it's like a wooden club, and he stuck that dude's face on it. I don't know what it is. This this is gross to me. This is really. What if disgusting. you take that out? And put like a, a beer in his hand, a little soda, a little. Yeah, whatever. I, what the, else? Why is his nipple stretching? I'm not. I'm gonna have to go read the story. I didn't read the story to be honest with you. Okay. But everybody can go read the story and check it out for themselves. This sells for forty five dollars, forty five euros, sorry, which is about sixty three American dollars. But it's a nice statue. It is. It's it's quality. I mean, it, it is great. It's. I was it's, just saying that. Like, it's got. I w I like the quality of this piece. It's got sculpted little um, toes and. What do you call those things? Claws. I'm telling you, the sculpting is like nice. The toenails are great. It's. I usually hate feet. It's well made. The painting is decent. I mean, everything is nice on it. It's just this thing is so disturbing that he's holding. It's got great details, like the little veins on the back of the hand. Well, yeah. Look at his bicep veins. Yeah. I mean. It's this well is a made. good wet resin piece. I just I don't know if I can get past the the whole concept of it. The weird ball sack skin like neck head thing, and the nipple don't put pull. That in. Why can't why is it? Can I why can't I just take that little piece off and like not have a nipple pull? Well, like I said, go to sheer imagination dot com and check it out for yourself. I'm saying awesome on the quality. It is. It's it is high quality, and I love. I don't know why I did the little leg surfer thing. I love the head, I really do. Like, there's something really fun about the the look of the guy's like face, the way it like. Yeah. It just works. It's cool. I like. I'd like to see more stuff from him. We will coming R up. Ramirez. Ramirez. This is by Frank Kozik. And Probably Kid another Robot. quickie. This has been out for a while, um, but we have not been able to review it until just now. This is one of the mongers, the bigger, big the mongers. big mongers. The six inch scale mongers. Because the, uh, other pe the other pieces are like five inch, so he's in scale at six inches. So of course the only one I'm really going to get is this cool guy with a mustache. Shocking. And I also like the banana idea. It's true. He does like, oh. Oh look, he comes right off too. But, he uh, looks so sad and forlorn without a mustache. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> That's life. That's life? His mustache doesn't sit on real well. You could glue that on real quick. I guess. Oh, you can make him cool and like Ooh, old cowboy. Old sheriff. That's the um 
What's his name from uh, Tom or Elliot? Sam Elliot. Sam Elliot. I was about to say Tom Elliot. That was that. So he's fun. Vinyl. Rad vinyl banana. I think Simple. it's funny. Simple paint, not squishy. Sits well. Has a if mustache. If you collect the mongers, you'll probably want the big ones if you don't already have them. Probably want to glue that in. It doesn't fit well. It's weird. Or just don't ever touch it. Is it just ours that doesn't fit well? Hey, let us know in the forums. Maybe it's ours. That's $25, by the way. You can get it. Uh, I know they have it at 3dretro.com and obviously kidrobot.com. I'm putting them somewhere. Probably many other fine retailers, too. Check all the sponsors. Yeah, check Tenacious you Toys. Find them. Check them. Great. So, fun. Banana we have mustache. one more thing. What do we have? Banana mustache. It's like banana phone. Banana phone. Why do people let me sing? We have a kaiju corner. Kaiju! <laughs> Today for kaiju corner, really quick, we have the new Fenton by Brian Flynn. This is a three inch clear vinyl with blue and white spray. There was also a Milton that came out at the same time this past weekend. Uh, they were both $15. They sold out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I love this little series that he's doing. This little candy headed... Fenton and Milton, the little ice cream guy. Seems to be they're a like, food they're, theme. They're treats. But the clear vinyl is so amazingly clear that I'm blown away. It's that cool Japanese vinyl again, man. It's just, I know. It's got a great feel to it. It just has like a... It's, it's like a nice, solid... I love my orange nice Fenton, but the clear, like, I, clear vinyl just really gets me. 15 bucks, huh? $15. Yeah, look at that. Where's the other? Let's see, 15... There's a lot more paint, though. It's bigger, too. No, I mean, I, the, the price is fine. The price on this is good. Just saying. I'm just the saying it's on, all good. The price on both of these is really good. It only has one point of articulation. One point of articulation. Um, again, I love the, I love the like... Imprinted, like, handwritten. Like, hand-scribed in, like, signature on the bottom. Like, I don't know. It's just great. So, of course, he's from Super 7. So you can check out uh, super7store.com to see all their releases and what they are up to. Great colors too. Like the blues just works so well. The clear blue with the clear. And again with with Super Seven, uh, it's great to follow their blog, because these things pop up and they're like, hey, in a couple of days we're releasing this thing at 11 a.m. So you're like, oh, hey, I better mark that on the calendar. Set a reminder, because that's how you set a reminder. Okay. All right. On to events. Events. Happenings. Let's do it. Stuff to do. The My Plastic Heart Trading Party. To celebrate the release of the Dunny Fatale series at My Plastic Heart in New York City on January 28th from 6 to 8 p.m., myplasticheart.com. Also, the Red Hot Robot Trading Party. To celebrate the release of the Dunny Fatale series at Red Hot Robot in Phoenix, Arizona on January 28th from 6 to 8 p.m., check out redhotrobot.net. How about the Happy Panda Toys trading party to celebrate the release of the Dunny Fatale series with Happy Panda Toys at Maximum Comics in Las Vegas, Nevada on January 28th from 4 to 9 p.m. It will also be the world premiere unveiling of the casting of the sick doll by Squidnik, MaximumComics.biz. Rivet Gallery trading party to celebrate the release of the Dunny Fatale series at Rivet Gallery in Columbus, Ohio on January 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. Check out RivetArt.com. Rotofuji Trading Party to celebrate the release of the Dunny Fatale series at Rotofuji in Chicago, Illinois on January 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. Get the free Chlor Dunny with case purchase. So Rotofuji.com. Get, get there early to get that. Not per just the party, but ahead of time. Uh, also, Polyvinyl Cranium, online custom DIY scully show from Delicious Drips. Uh, so basically you buy a DIY scully, customize it. It's sort of an online voting show which is cool because it incorporates a you know a lot of people uh voting will take place on march 15th and the winners will be announced on march 25th for all the details on how to be a part of that show go to pvcshow.com uber cute group <gasps> exhibition featuring wooden sculptures plush work customized toys and illustration by daniel elson Ockel, heidi kenny my paper crane and buku buku at rivet gallery in columbus ohio from february 6th to the 28th rivetart.com that's it. I sensed a theme there. A theme? Trading Toys? parties. Toy around shows? Trading parties around the world. Oh, or the U.S. Around the U.S., at least. Basically, on Thursday, January 28th, when Dunny Fatale series comes out, you should be able to make it to a trading party somewhere. Did we mention any L.A. ones? 
No, actually, there's probably there's got to be one. Check I your local you, store. Check the local store that sells dying. I bet you there's one at Wacko's or where. Um, or maybe a Kid Robot. Do they do that? Maybe Kid Robot. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere. Check your local store. Maybe we have to drive to Phoenix. See if they're having one. So don't forget. To save money with Toy Break. Wrap it up. You can save 20% with the coupon code TOYBREAK, all one word, at places like HappyPandaToys.com, FunkRush.com, and OctoberToys.com. Don't forget to visit ToyBreak.com for show notes from this show, past shows. You can watch this episode, watch past episodes, download them, join the contest, get over to the forum, email us stuff. It's fantastic. Tell a friend. Tell a friend to visit ToyBreak.com. Everybody tell one friend. That would be awesome. We'll check the numbers. That's your homework. Tell one friend of it. They don't even have to watch. They just have to no, visit. No, they have to watch. We want them to watch, too. We would like them to watch. We want them so to. So you can also call and leave us a voicemail, just like that caller did at the beginning of the show. Only more coherent would be great. And let us know your name. We like to talk to you. It's true. But you can do that by calling 818-AM-I-GOOD. Guy may have left his name. We don't know. Or you can email <laughs> us, info at toybreak.com, where you'll be equally mocked. <laughs> we provide equal opportunity mocking. You can also check out our briefs on YouTube at youtube.com slash toy break. And now, here's your toy break. You can do that. Ready? Uh-huh. Set. Go. Uh, look. <laughs> <laughs>